Hi, now I will show you how scheduling in PropFrex on air works. First of all, all settings to scheduling you find at Scripts Scheduler. What is important? Of course, you can set how to start scheduler with program start. Or you can always trigger reminders even if the scheduler is not running. Please check the path where your scheduling file is stored. Of course, you can set this path to a network storage so that many PropFrex on air instances can edit this scheduling file. You can also set continuous mode, which means that a program would be executed even if a new program is defined. And you have also scheduler start options and scheduler stop options, which you can edit as you would like. Okay. Now, program scheduling. You've got different options for showing your scheduler. First of all, you can choose a calendar week, for example, or day. You can zoom in and zoom out. You've got day view where you can define the days which should be shown. And you've got week view, month view and timeline view. You can also import a scheduling file or even print a scheduling file. So you've got the opportunity to export your scheduling file as HTML file for creating, for example, a little home page. Okay, you've got different options what you could create at Program Scheduler. With right click, you can create a new program, you can create a new recurring program, and you can add reminder. First of all, I will show you a new program here. You can define a program title and description and you can choose a category of your program which is just for information and has no effects to your program. Then you can define a script or even activate an input channel which should be run with this program. So I define test. Now category is regular show and I define a music script. You can also choose to activate reload script before start, which reloads your script even if you've made any changes to your script within the last minutes before the program would be started. You can also create new scripts or even edit one chosen script. At start type, you choose um, how your program should be started. So the options fixed till manual would start a new playlist where the program is executed and time update sync adds a little placeholder to your playlist where the next program is loaded within the same playlist. So fixed means that the program would be started fixed to this chosen time, which you can set here. Soft means that you can set a delay or even allow start early. Manual defines that you start the program manually, so PropFrex waits till you start the first track or even activate autoplay on the new program. At these both boxes, you define your date and time for start or ending your program. Also you can define a duration within here or even with choosing your end time, for example 6 o'clock. Then the duration would be updated. You can also define a bridge track um, even if you have a program which lasts not as long as it should be. So this bridge track would be placed between the current program and the next program if the, if the duration is not long enough. You can also set a program as overlay, but I don't recomp that to you because for this reason an overlay scheduler is at PropFrex on air. 
If you want to have a recurrence, you can set this here, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and you can set a date or even a number of occurrences for your recurrence. You can also set control comments by starting and started the program and on stopping and stopped the program. Please be careful with starting and started. So starting means one minute before the program starts and started is this time when the program starts. You can also set the box defer stopped until playlist is closing. So every control comment you define at this box would be executed when you manually when you manually or automated closes a playlist where this program is executed. Okay. With right click you can even split a program for example at 3 o'clock a.m. and you can drag and drop this program as you would like to have. So the last thing I will show you is at Reminder. So Reminder are little text files at which you can set a, recur a recurrence also. We don't need a recurrence here. So I use Reminder for example to start a different stream from another host or from a live show from another place. So I can set control comments right here and choose the control comment mod stream watcher start. So this control comment starts a little player at PropFrex on air where a stream URL address would be played in PropFrex on air. First of all, you set the streaming IP with the normal web credentials. Then you set how long should this program last. With zero, you've got infinite duration. Um, so you can define at the next program mod stream watcher stop for stopping this program. You can choose if the running playlist should be stopped, of course, so set true. And if the mod stream watcher should start after the track is played out or not. So for a nice transitions, choose true two. And you can set a song title for your streaming, for example, live show from Las Vegas. Then new, and you've got defined your control comment. And you can set, for example, title live show. So this is how scheduling in PropFrex on air works. If you want to have a look at a combined view between overlay and program scheduler, you can click on combined view and look at both scheduling instances at once. So I will explain the overlay scheduler at the next tutorial. Thanks for your attention.